Welcome to this week of the Kidia AI in Business Masterclass. I'm Dubisi Ekekwe. This week is going to focus on discovery domain. Essentially, you are going to be given an assignment to go back and see how AI will actually apply in basic things that you do for a living. So, but before we go into that, I want to just recap some of the things that we have learned together over the last 36 weeks. We've seen that across human society, that we can actually break different physics into pockets. And we can identify that we have what we call the invention society era, the innovation society era, and accelerated society era. Noted that this was the era of invention, so many great ideas, but lacking in products and services. But then later on, the world was able to transition from a world of ideas into a world where technologies and problems were now being solved as a result of the capacity for humans to create products and services. At this phase, the world was in a state of economic stasis. Nothing was moving. GDP was flat over generations, but the population was growing, resulting to per capita income decelerating across generations. But here we saw massive level of acceleration. Of course, not every part of the world experienced it or experiencing it. What was basically happened that we could see a parabolic increase in the GDPs of nations. For many countries, especially in the United States and Western Europe, a capita income went up for most of the citizens. And that means that their standard of living improved and they now move into what we call the developing economies. But that we are in this new age today, and that new age, as we have noted, is what we call the accelerated society era. This is going to be the era of AI system, the era of autonomous systems, and also an era where most of our systems are going to be entwined, interconnected into a fusion of people, stakes, and nations, globally, locally, and across continents, across market territories. So this is the world that we are going to be living. And within this world, we want to see how we can actually identify how these systems can actually work in things that we do. There are so many fascinating things which are happening in our time today. The first part is that that great postulation by Adam Smith of the visible hand, the free capitalist economy, in, within the whole concept of entrepreneurial capitalism, we are the pursuit of fixing the frictions in markets yeah, will not necessarily be dictated by the powers of the state. So within the tenets of that entrepreneurial capitalism, we can also see that fusion, that convergence, that unification with what Pythagoras even said many centuries ago, that a world is nothing but numbers. That means that the pursuit of this entrepreneurial vision, the pursuit of that entrepreneurial call that we have seen across centuries, that everything can always be better if we have the numbers around that pursuit. So in other words, if you are doing any type of business and you are using numbers to understand what is happening in that business, Pythagoras is saying that the propensity for you to be better in that is gonna be better than somebody who does not understand the numbers around that particular trade. So what is going on here is this, the AI is becoming that accelerant, that key weapon that actually bring to pass what Pythagoras was postulating. Because AI is basically helping us to understand our world using the data that we already have in this world. So when you apply it in areas that humans naturally cannot make sense because of the massive data set that you have in that particular scenario. So as AI filters, organizes, makes it possible for us to understand things that we cannot naturally understand, we are also seeing one thing, that the private sector is leading this redesign. That means that that wish of Adam Smith, of that invisible hand, just getting the way it has to be under the tenet of entrepreneurial capitalism, that there is this confluence of free market system, the number world coming together at scale. And when you have 
Having these two things in an economy, we expect a parabolic, if not an exponential increase in the economic output that you are going to experience in that particular economy. So we're expecting a world that is going to be massively transformed. A new way will come for people to create wealth. And that is the reason why when you look at the chat GPT, you see that they're most likely going to generate $1 billion of revenue over the next 12 months. So within that, we now want to look into the question. Recalling the different applications of AI we've already noted over this program. The application in healthcare, professional automobile, finance, surveillance, social media, entertainment, e-commerce, agriculture, robotics, gaming, space, so many areas that AI could be applied. Now, look at what you do for a living. You're working in a company, working in a bank, you're working in a, a retail company, you're working in, in, in the healthcare, just whatever you do. Now, ask yourself three areas that AI could actually improve that particular thing. Or if you're not working, you're a student, just look at your life. Whatever you do when you wake up and you go to bed, think about it over a week. How could AI improve whatever that keeps you going for a week? So what we're trying to see here is to begin to personalize how these AI systems can actually improve the job we do at work. How can you go back to your boss and tell, sir, ma, I have just attended this program and I think that there is a propensity for us to actually improve our customer service by deploying this, this, this. There is also a way that we can improve our lending system by deploying all these kind of, there is also a way we can even just make sense of everything in terms of data sets that we already have in this business. And then looking at many available tools that we have also noted in this program, some of them are even free. Some of them are exceedingly very, very affordable. You can now see that you can create an impact. And when you can write it down, you don't have to put the name of your company, but we promise you that we we'll respect your privacy here. So you write it down, you'll make a video, and we'd like to have a conversation. Hopefully, through that interaction, you could deepen your capacity so that when you get back to work to this program, you can get back with confidence to now tell your supervisor that I have got an idea that can actually help us improve these particular elements in our business. Next week, we go back to our regular programming, but this week, you have to be the one that prepared the teaching. Thank you so much.